So I have decided my next series of videos will be focused on certification. And we will start with the Salesforce Certified Administrator. So this is the guide from Salesforce Trailhead. We will begin by going through the uh, recommended training and references. So I personally would like to recommend you to go through the various uh, playlists I have created. So you have the admin beginner and then admin intermediate and admin advanced. So I would highly recommend for you to go through these three playlists first and which will take you a good chunk of time if you really are um, wanting to learn, not just wanting to get certified, but you're actually wanting to learn and grow. It will take you a chunk of time because certification in itself if you really don't know for real, it's not going to help you in the long run. That makes sense, right? So I'm going to give me as um, an example. If we see here, um, my first certification would be June 5th, um, 2017, which is the Certified Administrator. And our organization has been using Salesforce in the late 2014. So say early 2015, we have been using it fully. And I have been exposed to Salesforce, but I am pretty much clueless. There is just so many things to learn or to know about. It's overwhelming. So we were using consultant um, consultants back then for um, deployment. We were migrating from Siebel CRM into Salesforce. And we went through a whole, um, you know, series of um, integration, deployment. And whenever these consultants are on call with us, and I am the main IT person for the organization, it's really overwhelming and it's not very helpful um, when they are moving so fast and they are talking super fast. You know, as consultants, maybe they want to be perceived as the all-knowing consultants. Um, so we, we actually uh, look at them as very knowledgeable and very smart, so to speak. So they speak really fast and they look super smart. You know, making the rest of us look not so smart, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Maybe that's like a psychology so we can always look for them when we need help. Because we are totally clueless. So, I was in a hard spot, so to speak. Because not knowing stuff really bothers me. And, you know, to be honest when I first um, used the platform and I basically these consultants are handing over the system for me to administer and manage and further grow. There's so many things to learn and I don't know where to start. I literally don't know where to start. So this is why I made these hundreds, literally hundreds of videos for you to be at a better place than I was in. Because this is super uh, chronological. You start from this top and it's all free. It's all free. You don't have to pay $5,000 for a Salesforce class. And this is the intermediate, advanced. And you, if you are still challenged, I also challenge you to go to the developer, beginner, intermediate, and even through the app exchange, app development, and you know, prove yourself that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. So 
enough said. So once I've gotten my administrator, I keep on going because I want to know more and learn more, learn more. So therefore you can just also keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on learning. Never stop learning because you are curious and you're wanting to know, you're wanting to help. And just keep on learning because Salesforce is, is literally growing exponentially as you grow. You can't keep up with the growth there. So there is, there is enough new things developed for you to keep learning. You know, there is still Salesforce um, mar um, Marketing Cloud and then there is a whole bunch of stuff, right? There is even uh, um, Tableau, um, Commerce Cloud, Community Cloud, and yeah. So you just keep on learning, keep on discovering new stuff. So let's go back here. So what I was uh, wanting to share with all of you who has been following this series of videos, I would like to now starting to equip you to get certified. So we will go through this um, trail mix, which will have a lot of, oops, I pressed the wrong key, which will have a lot of um, material that we need to go through. So like 44 hours, look at that. But again, this is for you to really know and understand Salesforce Administrator. So not just to get the certificate, but really understand the ins and out of Salesforce. And you can really be helpful and be a source of answer, you know, and encouragements to all the people who are, who are um, in your organization. Also, it is very important for you to already have hands-on experience as uh, Salesforce also recommends. Um, somewhere here, I think it says about having an, a hands-on experience for um, here. We highly recommend a combination of on-the-job experience course attendance and self-study to maximize your chances of passing the exam. Additionally, candidates should have six or more months of experience as a Salesforce admin and should be able to successfully perform the task. So it's not the other way around. It's not getting certified first to get an admin job that's totally the other way around. It doesn't work that way. You need to, to be in an organization first that's already using Salesforce. For myself, as I told you, I get certified in 2017, but I have been using Salesforce since 2015 January. So it's more than two years, then I'm comfortable with the ins and out in Salesforce. Hmm. So I think maybe I'll take the certification to encourage me to study and learn more stuff that I didn't know about, you know, because usually for me, I am managing a nonprofit org when we focus on NPSP and there's other stuff that we don't touch so much, especially it was just, you know, intensive during the, during the deployment of Salesforce. You know, setting up the org, the permissions, the users, the profiles, permission sets, OWD, organization-wide default, stuff like that. That is extensively being implemented and exercised during implementation. But I got a handover. I did not implement Salesforce. The, the consultants implemented Salesforce and they handed me over when it's deployed, it's implemented. So I didn't get to, you know, think about those stuff. They were, they were um, the one who's thinking about that, planning, designing. I didn't get to be a part of that. I was just here, it's now deployed, you run it and maintain it now. 
So, all right. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. So that's why I, I learned and I didn't know where to start. It's just so much. What do I even start? There's so much thing. Oh, my Lord. Right. And then, well, anyways. So I am hoping to be able to ease the burden from you when you actually want to get certified. First, you have already uh, you already have a job administering Salesforce. Then you do the certification. You don't do a certification to get a job. You don't even have any hands-on experience. That's just not recommended. All right. So with that being said, um, the first uh, trail we are going to do is user authentication, which is on the next video. So all these check boxes that you see, those are already done through these hundreds of videos we did before on these three trails, admin beginner, admin intermediate, admin advanced. So on each module that have a checkbox, I will not repeat it. Okay. So um, I recommend you to go through this, this playlist first, then go to the certification playlist, which will, which we will go through all of these, except the ones with the checkbox, which we already did. And we have some three super badges to go through as well, which is going to be exciting and projects. So all of all of the modules having a checkbox, I will not repeat them, okay? Because we have gone through them from these playlists before. All right, I hope you are excited and I will see you on the next video. It took me a while to think what to do next and I think I am led I am led to go through the certification to help you guys who have been uh, going through all of this together with me. Good job, guys. And now it's time for you to get certified. I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.